What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna be working on is a disconnected pixie haircut. Uh, the cool thing about this is it's a super modern look, uh, a lot of fun to cut. We're gonna combine scissors and razors in this haircut. So you're gonna see uh, multiple different ways to create texture and movement and everything. So let's get started. All right guys, so now to begin this technique, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush the hair completely back off of the face and I'm gonna figure out where my guest is gonna part her hair. So that's the first thing you wanna figure out. Is it gonna be on the right side? Is it gonna be on the left side? In this case, we're working on a left-hand side parting. Now, uh, once I figure out uh, where she's gonna part her hair, that's where I'm gonna base all of my sectioning off of. So now I'm gonna wrap the hair around the head, get the hair flowing in that direction, and then part off from there, going around to the edge of the eyebrow, or pretty much where that parietal ridge area is. Now I'm gonna section that top off in a way, and that's gonna be my disconnection that's gonna fall over the rest of the haircut. So I'll clip that away, um, and then I'm just gonna section off the left-hand side. I'm gonna take a piece from that. So we've got our parting, but because it's a disconnected cut, I want the entire top disconnected. So I have that triangle base. Now I'm just gonna take a sliver triangle of the left-hand side just to bring that to the edge of the eyebrow as well. And I'm gonna clip that piece off and away. Uh, and that is the sectioning for this cut. Pretty simple uh, as we're working through. Now, I did talk about the fact that I'm gonna use a razor and scissors in this cut. So you can see I have a razor tool in my hand. I just switched to the fine tooth version of it. It's the Donald Scott carving comb. It's available on freesaloneducation.com. It's 39 bucks. It's got a comb on it and it's got two different types of razors. One that cuts 100% and the other side cuts 50%. So I'm gonna start off cutting with my scissor, but I've got that tool in my hand to use it later on in the cut. So I can use it whenever I want. If I wanna take out a little bit of weight, somebody's got super thick hair, I can be taking this section, cut a blunt line, and then just hit it with that razor to soften it with the 50% carve side if I want as well. So there's so many different um, opportunities that you have when you're using that razor. So we're working diagonal back, cutting in between my fingers, now you could go in with a clipper if you wanted to, if you're more comfortable with that, you can take it a little bit tighter to the head if you want to. Obviously this is a versatile style and you guys can put your touch on it. For me, I like working in between my fingers, just working that head shape. And now I'm kind of showing you that my fingers are pointed and my finger angle is parallel to that parting. So I'm working my way back uh, on the head shape, keeping my fingers parallel to the parting as I work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue doing this type of sectioning throughout this cut. Uh, and then when I get to the other side, I'll explain a little bit more of what I'm doing. All right, so now one thing I wanna point out as I get to the edge uh, of this haircut, right back where the crown of the head is, now I'm gonna create a stationary guide because what I wanna do is I wanna push uh, some extra weight in. So uh, one thing that I want you guys to kind of focus on is that stationary guide, if I start pulling everything over to it, what's gonna to happen to the rest of the hair? It's gonna get longer. So as that hair gets longer, it starts to build up some weight. So I wanna build up weight in the crown area to really fit the shape of the head. So the heaviest part will be in the very center back of this cut um, as I go. So just work in that stationary guide you'll see that as I bring each section over, I bring it over to that stationary guide and the hair starts to get longer and longer towards the center of the cut. All right, so now once I finish uh, working through that top crown area and I pushed all that weight over, now I'm gonna continue into the nape and just keep working those rounded sections throughout the bottom of the head until I get to that back right corner of the head right behind the ear. So one thing to keep in mind as you're working into this nape area and right behind the ear, your finger angle is now pointing diagonal forward as opposed to diagonal back, which is how we work the whole left-hand side. 
So you want to make sure that your elevation uh, makes sense and is the same as the opposite side. Otherwise, you're going to end up with extra weight right here behind the ear. Now, I'm going to show you guys a technique as I go through this to go through and uh, cross check your haircut back the other direction, which will help remove any of that extra weight that you created. But just to be safe and, and to try to be as consistent as possible, focus on that elevation as you come around the corner. So right here, you're gonna see where I start to move diagonal back to connect the two lengths. So I've got my length in the nape, which is down at the bottom of my finger right there. So I'm just gonna connect that line to build that consistency before I move on to the rest of the right side. So now we start right in the temple area and I'm gonna work diagonal back and just connect both sides together to finish off the bottom part of the haircut. So just like we did on the opposite side, on the left-hand side, we're going to now uh, do the same thing on the right-hand side by building a stationary guide and pulling everything over to it to push maximum amount of weight over to the opposite side. So you'll see all of that length building up in the very center of this cut. So it's almost like a V-shape with the weight. All right, so now we finished that up. You can see that a little bit of heaviness uh, in that center V shape. So now what I'm gonna do, the beauty of the carving comb is it has a razor on both sides. So I just slide my hand up in the hair and I work that razor back and forth to help remove a little bit of bulk and create some texture in the haircut. So now we're gonna do the same thing, just a little bit on top of the fingers, just working that razor back and forth. So now we're gonna let out the top. You'll see that crazy disconnection that's already happening. And now we're gonna uh, cut the top to really fit this haircut and create that disconnection. So the way that we're going to work the top of this haircut is working everything straight back to a stationary guide again. So taking uh, horizontal sections or vertical, however you want to call it, straight across the top of the head, bringing them back to that guideline. And then I'm going to cut with the scissor, I'm going to cut a blunt line across. Uh, that gets the length off for me, but I don't want this haircut to have a blunt feel to the top of it. I want it to have a more messy textured feel. So once I get through there, cutting that blunt line, I go back through with the carving comb and we're gonna do that point cutting technique that I just showed you guys um, through the back. And it's just a back and forth motion using that 100% cutting side and the 50% cutting side. And you can see how it shatters that line and creates uh, that explosion of texture throughout the top of the haircut. So now I take another section uh, parting across and bring it back to that stationary guide. What that's gonna do as I pull that hair back and I cut it, it's creating length into the front. So where a lot of people make a mistake and where it doesn't become disconnected is they follow across the top and they blend everything into the sides. You want this to kind of fall over, almost like a waterfall over the side of the haircut and that's going to create your modern feel, that disconnection, uh, and really make this haircut unique and stand out. So I overdirect everything back, a back and forth motion with the razor. You could just cut the whole top of the razor if you wanted to, but I like to do that blunt cut, get the hair nice and fresh, then go through and just soften it with that point cutting technique. So you can see how much length is really getting pushed into the front there. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the side as I bring that back as well. So look at that disconnection. It's got a really cool feel to it. We're gonna mess around with that in a little bit. So I do the same thing on the opposite side. Uh, this is our weak side, but I still want that disconnection in there. So I go through, I point cut with the scissor, create a nice blunt line, grab my guide from that center crown area, and then I'll go through with the carving comb and create that texture, that movement. You can see a pass back and forth as I work that line. And then when I comb it down, you're really gonna see how that weight gets pushed forward, uh, that length that goes forward. And then I can go in with my carving comb. And this is the beauty of having it in your hand already. Just go through there, grab it, use that 100% cutting side and really define what I want that length to look like. 
We'll do a little bit more of that in the dry cut as well. So now you can see all the disconnection, all the layering, all the movement that's happening. So now I'm just finishing up the technique around the face. Now, one of the things that I've found about myself and my personal style is that I love kind of the mixture between tons of texture, but then also precise lines. So I wanted to go through in this cut, modernize it a little bit by creating these precise lines, but then go in and shatter the top and have it kind of fall over. So for me, like having a fully messy haircut is cool too, but I like kind of showing off um, artistic ability and just precision ability, precision cutting throughout the cut, and then just have that texture so it shows that the, the haircut is fun as well. So now um, you can see that disconnected top really nice. Now I'm going to go through with the 100% cutting side in the razor and cut through it just like that to remove some of that length throughout the cut and really just customize it. Um, you can use this hair, uh, this razor on dry hair. It works really well. The biggest difference between the carving comb and a lot of other razors is the blades are super thick. So um, that helps a lot. And I'm always using a fresh blade when I go in and cut on dry hair. So a brand new blade, sharper than a scissor, goes through, cuts the hair really, really nice. You don't have to worry about any damage of the hair. So you can see that disconnection falling over. That's that waterfall effect that I'm talking about. Um, using that 50% carved side really skinnies it up. So you can see that disconnection underneath, but then you have that hair kind of flowing and falling over. A little bit of precision, again, adding nice lines to this cut right in that fringe area. So even though it's full of texture, still has a purpose, still has um, reasoning behind everything that we're doing. So again, go through 100% cutting side, finishing it up. And now we're going to go in to finish it off with the Joyco Joy Mist. This is a medium hold hairspray. So I'm going to spray that in, add a little bit of definition, separation, uh, show off that texture. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is take a smoothing iron and grab some of those disconnected pieces and just twist them out to showcase, you know, the different style, the different look of this haircut. I fine tune it with a little bit of last minute detail work with my scissor, uh, work that hairline, work that neckline a little bit. And then this is our end result. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is definitely a very versatile haircut that you'll be able to use in the salon right away. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you do, if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.